<laughs> Hello and welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I'm Radar. Special K, and tonight we're doing a highly requested uh, vodka. It's been a while since we've done is one. Is it highly requested? It is. We have natural light strawberry lemonade flavored vodka. Now, if you're not familiar, a while ago they had a strawberry <gasps> lemonade beer come out. It's so weird to I mean, see the natural light logo on a vodka bottle. Ah. So should we read the little blurb on the back here? Yeah, go nuts. Why not? <laughs> natural light has been a state. Uh, sorry, natural light has, has been, been there. Has been a state? Sorry. Has been there for the good times in America since 1977. It's also been there for the bad times. Now we're changing the game it's by introducing the bad times. natural light flavored vodka. For those who like strawberry lemonade and I'm drinking vodka. And the worst times. Uh, enjoy chilled or with club soda or a mixer of choice. Uh, go to naturallight.com or call 1-800-342-5283. I'm going to call them. Me and Radar I'm, I'm going to call them in the middle of this video. Me and Radar were just talking about this bottle. I'm going to ask them about the bottle. <laughs> hey, how come there are flat spots on your round look, bottle? Look at the bottle. You can see it's very poorly made, actually. Yeah, there's there's there are flat spots on both of the seams, but there's also a flat spot on the back for some reason. It seems really bad right here. It looks like it's... It's, it's like caved in on the sides. It's really weird. All right. Well, like I said, there is a glass bottle shortage right now. So. Is there? I didn't know there was a thing. All right. I mean, it does look like some other alcohol. I can't think what it looks like. Oh, you've been getting good at that. Lots of practice. Um, uh, so, do you know how much this bottle was? Any guesses? Um, I'm going to say that that was $15. Wait, no. It's hard to find. It's got I'm going to say that was like $23. It's got flamingos on it. It's important. It's very true. We should, oh man, we should have got Mingo over here to try it. You know, we can't, it was $11. That's actually not too terrible. What's the percentage on this? 30. It's normal. Yep. This is, this is going to be in it's the like bum Whitney. wine section. It's like Whit Whitney, Pink Whitney. This is actually on the top shelf. Four times distilled. Wait, is this a product of, um... Smirnoff? Is this uh, a Smirnoff product? No, because four times distilled is very low. Like that's a very low distillation rate. Oh, what? what how many? How many is Smirnoff? Is that like a lot more twenty or something? Yeah, I don't know. they filter it through ass hairs and diamonds or something. I don't know. I, I don't really uh, hope not. Wolverine ass hair. I don't know. <laughs> that's why. <laughs> no, that's gray goose. They filter through goose feathers. Oh. That actually, I, I would believe that if, if someone told me that. It smells like vodka and lemonade. I don't get any strawberry in there. It's very harsh on the nose and the vodka. I mean, it's apartment. got kind of a, it's got kind of a strawberry twang, but yeah, not, not so much strawberry. Really? Okay. Not bad. It's got a weird. It's really not. It does. There's the strawberry. Sort of like the aftertaste, the sweet aftertaste. That's where the strawberry lives. I'm digging the lemon flavor. The lemon flavor's not bad. I mean, lemon vodka is not difficult to do. I'd be surprised if they screwed that up. You're wrong, because we've had some bad lemon vodkas, and we've had so many bad lemon-flavored things recently. We've had lots of bad lemon-flavored things, but that doesn't mean, mean it's difficult to do. <laughs> we've just been... We've been buying the wrong products. I'm not getting a lot of strawberry in there. The lemon's very prominent up front. You get a little bit of the vodka on the back end, and it's a tiny bit rough, but it's eleven dollar bottle of vodka. I think the strawberry, or yeah, yeah, the strawberry is mostly the end. There's a lot of lemon throughout, but the the strawberry sweetness comes through at the end. That might actually be an accident because it doesn't necessarily taste like strawberries. It just tastes sweet and kind of kind of heavy. Um, I'm impressed with it. Uh, I, w I would argue that uh, you have Deep Eddie's Vodka. In, in this category, you have Burnett's. You have Deep Eddie's. Burnett's is no, no, no. No, no boy, no. no. Burnett's. Um, I think Burnett's gets more more anger than it's, than it's worth, but that's a different video. Some of them. Some of them are tolerable. That's, the Pink Lemonade one is not. Oh, I, I got you. You're specifically going for Pink Lemonade. So, the... Um, is this better than Deep Eddie's or, or Pink Whitney? I would argue that it's not, but... I would also argue that... The, well, go ahead, yeah. But those are not strawberry flavored, which, again, I'm not really getting much of that in there's, there. There's a touch of it. 
I would, I would, I would stake my life upon it. No, this is also That's cheaper than idea. both of those. It's about, way about cheaper. About five bucks. Mm -hmm. So you got to keep that in mind. Is it? I think it's good for what it is. I never. I thought this was gonna be freaking awful. Ooh, you know what would make a really good mixer for this? Lemonade. No, I mean yes, but but like that's a good choice. But uh, you know the uh, the Jumex. Some strawberry nectar. Yeah. So I want to point out that pink lemonade isn't a real yeah. thing. People are dumb. But I like that they. I think they put strawberry in there. That way, people are like, because they they know that pink lemonade isn't a real thing too. So that's why they put strawberry. They could have in marketed it. this as pink lemonade. Pink lemonade isn't a real thing. It's just lemonade dyed pink. Yeah, but you can still get it. It's a real thing. You can buy in a right. little container full of like freeze dried kernels. This lady argued with me at work for an hour. I'm like, you have a phone, don't you? <laughs> I was like, Google it. She's like, well, there are pink lemons. I'm like, but read what a pink lemonade is right now. It's just there are regular. pink lemons really rare obscure fruit kind of thing but yeah she was I like no idea i'm done talking to you after she looked it up <laughs> and i'm like okay it's like it's not like i well, really view alcohol or anything do you also are you also an expert on lemons <laughs> no it's just it's up I, I get in that argument frequently because pink lemonade is so much better than regular lemonade i'm like no it's exactly the same if you're talking about strawberry lemonade that's a different thing but no pink lemonade right same thing all right, I mean, so, that does turn it pink. That makes it a pink lemonade, right? Mm -hmm. So let's let's give it a number straight. Uh, I'm gonna go with an eight. I can't. I can't. There's nothing bad about that vodka. It's a tiny I, bit. I'm having a hard time finding fault in that. Rough on the back, but I, um, mean, I really am having a, a hard time finding fault in calling it an eight. Thing is, it's not like the most stellar vodka that no. exists. But it's a good flavored vodka, and, and it's also, range. it's almost 10 bucks. 11 bucks, so yeah. It's, yeah, it's 11, it's almost 10 bucks. Like, just, it's really cheap, and it's also not dishwasher fluid. Because um, some of the some of the cheaper vodkas are just fucking, they know what they do. they're foul. You know that uh, Arby's came out of the vodka, everybody wanted to tell us that, except it's $60 a bottle, and everybody's like, you guys didn't even review it, I'm like... Not for sixty dollars a bottle, I don't. I mean, if it was twenty, maybe even thirty. Not sixty. I could do thirty bucks. Not yeah, sixty. No. But anyways, this, I, I think that's pretty good. I'm also gonna give it an eight. I'm gonna also shock and amaze everyone by saying, yeah, if you see this, go ahead and buy yourself a bottle of it because it's not bad. For sure. Uh, so as a mixer. <laughs> It's really not bad as a mixer. It's better. Right? It's, yeah, I mean, you're adding more lemon flavor to a lemonade uh, vodka already. Eight and a half is a mixer. I mm. think it would be good with club soda, like it says on the, on the, the bottle. Label. I can see it, yeah. A little, little subtle bubbliness could be nice. Um, yeah, I, I think it's also an eight and a half. It's slightly better. I don't want to say it's a whole lot better, but it is slightly it's better a as a point mixer. It's better, right? It's a half point better. I can't drink the rest of that. I, I, I have like 12 more videos to do after this. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, it's, it's how it is. <laughs> so, do you recommend this vodka? Yeah, go get yourself some. I, a, I know someone at work who was like, oh yeah, my husband found 12 bottles of it and bought all of them, and now I know why, because it's actually pretty good. Yeah. I think it's just better than the, the Natter Day, uh, the which beer, is, that's the, beer. the, that's the, yeah, no, they didn't call it Natter Day Light. That's, that makes me sad. It's Natter Day. It's whatever. It's natural light. This is better than the, the beer that they made that was like weirdly flavored. Just stay away from that. Get this instead. All right. Well, that's been our episode. If there's something you'd like to see on the channel, you can leave a comment down below. Don't forget to hit that like button. I'm Special K. I'm Radar. Thanks for watching.